What's going on everybody? Dark and Wendy back at it again with another video. As you can see on my screen, we're back at it again going through my faking mind decks. Uh, last time we stopped on Buffalo and now we're going to continue on and go to number 300, Stigilil. Now, Stigilil is, mm, he's one of the first fossil Pokemon for this region. So, and I based him off of a, sti a Stigma Lock. St Stigy Moloch, I guess. But, yeah, he, he's one of those cases where he looks okay. But the fact of the matter is, it's pretty dated. Like, you can immediately tell by the edges here that are a bit cut off. Like, some official Pokemon are, are like, is like that because uh, Sujimori, like, used to scan stuff in and color over it. But, yeah... Like, this just looks weird when it's cut off, and it was just one of those cases where I, I used GIMP back in the day, what to use my, to do the transparency and everything, so that's, this is just like a stat side effect of it, and you'll probably see it in a lot more of my designs going forward, or you've I already identified it in previous ones. So, yeah, Stigilil is from a skier or fossil. I haven't really... The fossils, the only fossils that I've actually done quote-unquote official artwork of are the horn fossil, fossilized neck, and fossilized sack. So, yeah, I don't have anything for a skier fossil right now. But, yeah, that's how it is for right now. And then Stigilil going on to Stixel, which is a situation where he, he's just pretty much, he pretty much grew a bit bigger, got, got more stout and everything, so... Yeah, it's not nothing really, nothing really crazy. So yeah, you can like immediately see like for the most part, the main thing that happened is that he got his colors got a bit darker, and the orange got a bit brighter. Other than that, it's pretty much just a bit bigger on the the tail. The tail went from being like legitimately just striped to having a striped underside instead but besides that not much is really all that special well i guess the the green got darker too but yeah not, not like i said not much special it's just a rock rock dark fossil not much next up is the other fossil pyraps i wonder what it's based off of <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty much just, it's based off of a pyroraptor and it, it is revived from an ember fossil. And like I just said, the only official, I only have official art for three of the fossils. So yeah, just make of that or what you will. It'll happen eventually. I don't know when, but it'll happen. Uh, yeah, like I said, pyroraptor. It's not exactly, like there's no real, yeah, like you can see the orange and red and everything. It's, pretty, it's essentially just another case where I'm going to have to revamp it because cause I revamped it once before because its original design was just, uh, let me just, I just, like, it's just still, still the same old problem, same round head with the beak kind of deal, not, not really, uh, not really unique or anything. Meanwhile, the newer one has more of a unique shape and everything. Like the the face and earth, like the head shape and everything is still kind of the same way I've done things in previous designs. But the facial features and everything are different enough to make it seem better. So yeah, and we're going on to his evolution, which is Raptos, and Raptos just. I didn't revamp it like I did to Pyrapt already. So both of them need to be redone indefinitely. Cause <clears throat> Yeah, there are some issues because the the legs just look awkward to me. Like I put the I put the fur or hair on the front side instead of the back side where it could where it should have been so it can be like it could be like even. The claws look like weird. There's no like shading or anything on them. The 
just this this tail just basic boring and it's supposed to be a fossil it's supposed to be a fossil mon like and then like I have this crest going on like I have this crest going on and the crest somehow it goes off of the ridge with this one but it connects to the back of this side and I didn't even like it makes it can make sense but I didn't I didn't do uh extra lines to insinuate or accentuate I, I I don't know the exact word for it or I, I'm not saying it right to to differentiate it to make it look a bit m more sensical or sensible but yeah moving on we got crocodon now crocodon is like a it's pretty much it's like I said before none of none of my Pokemon are connected to official Pokemon or anything like that these are all my own unique monsters I'm just saying that they're Pokemon because I have this Bulbapedia format going on and Pokemon was my inspiration so yeah if they're fake mine they're my own monsters whatever you want to call them they're not they're not real Pokemon so but here is Crocodile is essentially like Aerodactyl in a sense where it is not a fossil that it gets revived from it's from a whole different thing so Aerodactyl has the old amber and Crocodile has a rare scale and again there's no art of it so yeah it's based off of uh i forgot what's it called sarcosuchus yeah the sarcosuchus and it's pretty much it was pretty much like a big ass crocodile yeah this yeah pretty much jurassic world and stuff <laughs> but yeah this was pretty much sarcosuchus and as you and as you can clearly see, it barely resembles it, because back then I sucked. And as you can see, the lines are still cut off and look jagged and weird. Like I said, <sighs> looking at this just get, brings me pain because like there's so much. Like for one thing, the colors, as usual, look really muddy and weird because. Like, I just put gray on gray and put some red to pop out. And, like, the hands look, like, the like these hands, kinds of hands are okay, but not for this one, I don't feel. And then I have, like, just the underside looks, like, why did I decide to do that? The spikes on his back, I've done that for certain months before. He had these things on the tail, I don't really know why. It's just a lot of me questioning why I like that. And why the fuck did I do this head shape? And why is the jaw connected like this? It's just a lot of questions that I don't have the answer to. And it's just, ugh. Just, ugh. So, it's just... <sighs> Next up, we have water. So, let's see. And yes, I named it after the fan name that people gave Oshawa when it was first revealed. I don't care. So yeah, Water is the mischievous Pokemon. It's based off of an otter and pretty much like the pirate, pretty much like a pirate crewmate kind of deal. And no, please, no Among Us jokes. But yeah, so it's pretty. This is pretty much. He's pretty much just a sailor boy. So. Yeah, I think do do I have the original because this is because this was a revamp. This was definitely a revamp because I remember having an original one. Yeah, okay. I don't have the original one, but yeah, this is an original one. I'm, I'm gonna have to redo it, of course, because it look the head shape and everything is is ramp like the shape is too generic. The shapes I used were too kind of boring and generic here. And it's fine to use like simple shapes, like Pokemon, official Pokemon do simple shapes all the time. But in this case, since, especially since it's an otter and we already have Oshawa who has this kind of shape, I don't have to redo it. Um, but like I said, it's pretty much just a cat, well not a sailor boy, a cabin boy. That started, it starts off like that, then we go to Sailot, who... And as you can see, it's, it's slowly evolving into the more of a pirate role. You can see that one paw is perfectly fine, but the other one now is kind of metallic, even though it looks uneven as all hell. What the fuck is this? 
and the body, it, it, the body makes it look like it has a wetsuit, which is a bit of a problem. Well, not really a problem. Like Pokemon, Pokemon, like they they've said before that Pokemon don't actually wear clothes, and it's usually just either their skin or markings or something like that. So this kind of so th these are these can be these pretty much are markings and everything, but it just looks too it doesn't blend well together. So in that case, I could have like I feel like I used a uh, brighter white instead of just using the base kind of. <sighs> Here I go again with this grayish shit, like grayish blue and everything. I could have used that down here, but uh, me and these grays back then, my eyes just sucked. But finally, we got Pyrot, and you can finally, and you can actually see the full transformation. It's fully a pirate now. The tail it has become a map, an actual map, which doesn't make a lot of sense now that I'm looking at it. Like the, I could, I could have at least made it so it actually had a good tail or something like that. Did something. I could have been, I could have just did the tail and put the. You know what? When I, when I, whenever I revamp these guys, that I'll, I'll I'll change it. And same old deal here. Like instead of just having it like this, I could have just did extra, make the colors blend more instead of it looking like that. As you can see, I, I put one one foot brown so it can resemble like a pet leg, a clawed hand that looks like it's Freddy Krueger type shit instead of just a hook. He's got the full beard and everything. No hat, just <sighs> let's just move on because these guys is just like I like I like these guys, but they definitely need a revamp. Now here's a line that I actually did revamp recently: Waterloo. As you can see, Waterloo is the sea pup Pokemon, and it's based off of a sea lion. So let's go to the. Let's go to the old art. I really, I really like how I did the redid this artwork because it's really like, like compared to well, hold on, compared to the original one, it's it's got a lot more personality and character to it because what the hell is this? This isn't this like it's supposed to be a sea lion, but I don't see it. Honestly, like I get, it has cat ears. It has it has little the the colors are too like the colors clash a bit too much or the pink is too bright. The eyelashes are like they don't they don't feel like they don't feel like they would work. The the nose the nose is all right. It's pretty much like like I made this before Popplio and all of them, so this was pretty much my pop. This was pretty much a Popplio before Popplio even came out, and I'm still and I'm still happy about that. It's got like this whole lower half thing going on, which is pretty much its signature thing for this stage in the line. But I also gave it like this little tail, which doesn't make much sense to me. Looking at it now in this perspective right here. And its feet are close together because, yeah, that that was my thing. Its name is Watts Waterloo, like wild, like waddle, because it has to like move around like that. And yeah, I don't really like it compared to the recent one because it has more personality, it has more flair, like the nose and everything. The head shape is actually better. The ears aren't cat-like; they're just actually like rounded and everything. Everything's more round and everything. The arms feel better. This actually lower half is no longer as overdone and just it's more simple and just fun. I just really I just really enjoy this a lot more and the the tone of like kind of salmon this this light salmon pink that I use is this pinkish orange that I use is a lot more better and complements the design more than this this gaudy like bright as pink that I used to use and it's just it just makes it this one's just miles miles leagues better than the original one so we got Wat Waterloo next we have Manasee and you, as you can see is now 
clearly sea lion Pokemon. And just like with Waterloo, we're gonna go to this old art and compare and contrast. Because let me tell you, what, what the, what is this? Explain to me, what is this? This does not look like a sea lion. Again, this is just like, this is like a, this is just like a cat. This is just like a water cat, essentially. Like, I'm sure I did, I, I'm sure that's what my pun was back in the day, because I used to do a lot of pun designs. Like, if I was a sea, if I did a sea lion, it would be like a cat or a lion that is water type or something like that. That, that that's usually, that was my main thing back in the day. So, yeah. Manasi is a bit, mm, it's a bit rough. Like, it has the, it has the arms and stuff of, um, the recent Waterloo and everything like that. But besides that, there's not much that's really interesting or cool about it. Like, it just looks derpy, which is fine. I like derpy designs, but it just doesn't feel complete. And it isn't really a sea lion, like, again. Meanwhile, we got Man the new Manasi, which is, again, a ton of leagues better. It actually has a sea lion shape. The eyes are better. I, 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 kept on, I kept on using the, the orange, just pinkish salmon color. The white, I expanded upon the, the bubble part, the bubble that was covering Waterloo, instead of just getting rid of it in the, like I did with the original one, Waterloo and Manasi. So, yeah, everything here is a, a lot better for me. Not much else to say. It's just a sea lion. Oh, and, it, well, it, yeah, it does have a bit of a spotted seal in there because that's where, that's where the extra dots came from. That's where the extra spots are coming from. And finally, we have Watulius, who is based off of a sea lion, but also a yokai that I forgot the name of. It is a Ari, an Ari. And once you see an Ari, you'll know you'll immediately see where where I'm coming from. Let's get let's get the let's break it out. <sighs> let's get this. Now let's see. And let's go ahead and bring up the old art because uh now let's look. First off, we already know it's a sea lion. Let's get this Ari out the way. As you can see, this is an Ari. Yeah, it looks disturbing, doesn't it? Is you can see that it has the hair, the single tail, the legs are like this, and it's got a big rotund body, and the neck is connected and everything like that. It looks like it's on top. Of, it's like in the center of the head, but it's but in my design, it's not. But yeah, as you can see, I took inspiration from that. It has the tail. It has the hair, the kelp hair, and. And like the the blue bubbles that was that were covering Waterloo and Manatee are now is now covering his entire body except for his front feet. Meanwhile, the old one, it finally has a sea lion shape, guys. Oh my God, it it actually looks like a sea lion now, except what the hell is this? This 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 this. This this foot, this arm looks really, really bad. As of this one, and it's too blocky. Is it the the I kept I said I can see I kept the orb stuff, the orb spotted things. But and I also did the blending thing to make it look like a shore and everything. It's just I don't know I still don't know why I did it on the mustache too, since it doesn't make sense. <sighs> And why did I do a double down? I guess I was trying to emulate Samurai, but no, it doesn't work here at all. This one's leagues better. I, and I really, I really incorporated the kelp and everything because I really wanted to do a do a yokai connection because Watuli is, is a water and psychic type, which com and as you can see down here, Waterloo and Manatee are not psychic type. Well, only Watulius is in the line. So I knew that I wanted to, I knew I needed to like actually show that because you know damn well that this thing doesn't really give off a psychic type vibe. Unless you want to count pink because nose. But I looked up, I looked up different yokai 
that were going to that had something to deal with psychic energy or something like that or like something like that we are just so I looked it up and I found this Ari and what do you know the habitat is the sea and they are prophetic aquatic yokai and they somewhat resemble sea lions what do you know per perfect perfect fit perfect fit so yeah, for this redesign, I actually this this is one of those occurrences where I dug a little deeper in order to get the design how I actually wanted it to be, and then I really didn't like how it came out. Next up, we got moving on, we got Calic. Now Calic, yeah, you can already tell it's it's pretty much an Anubis type deal. This entire line is just basically based off of Anubis, but they're at certain stages. So here, Calic. Calic is basically the the particle sun, or the pretty much the little prince in a sense. The yeah, pretty much just the prince. You can see the older artwork. This is a like like with Watulius. This is pretty much the case where um, I didn't really the original art didn't have any kind of actual theme behind it well it had a it had a theme but the theme didn't really show itself i'll say it wasn't until i revamped it that i actually did more with it and continue with continue with it down the line so as you can see right now calig it looks cool looks good it has the well as you can see Calic is good now. It has the the head is alright, the nose, the snout, the eyes look better. It has this little tuft of hair that's against that's against the quote unquote col the collar mark. Everything looks fine. The ears are okay. The head gem. Everything looks fine here. Let's move back a peg. Well, let's move back a peg. And you see that. Yeah, going. Let's go back and forth. The the one step down. This is this this is no longer a gem or anything. This is just a mark on his head. The hair looks flatter. Yeah, the hair looks flatter here, and the purple mark is gone. And overall, the shading is a bit better because I didn't use I for here I used the overlay setting on my brushes and on my uh, program. But here I didn't. I just used the regular my regular shading style that I use now, and you can see the texture and everything in it. But one step down, you don't see any of that. Everything looks feels just feels a bit flatter. Well, not well, not really flat, but it's just more basic or bland to me at least. I have this extra purple inside the ear, which is no longer here, which is good. Like, and you can see like the. The outer ear is no longer is no longer just a simple shape. The inner ear is actually cut, like inside of it and not just on the outside. Go all the way to the outside, and the eyes are no longer like these beady little things. They're actually more developed and more big, just bigger in general, which is better. And then let's move one step down again, and we got this. Generic standing bipedal, yeah, yeah. I don't really have a lot to say about this because this was just a case where I wanted to do a jackal. I did a jackal. Not much. There was there wasn't much to it. I had this yellow eye marking that's that's remained. That well, it's remained, but it's no longer yellow. It's purple. But yeah. I just de I just defaulted it back to the how the original eyes kind of were for this for the newer version because when I do when I do revamps I always try to I try I always try to keep certain aspects of the original design so that not everything is lost but some, but sometimes it's required that it just just needs a complete overhaul because it just doesn't feel right to me anymore but yeah. Like I said, Calic is pretty much, this whole line is based off of Anubis. So here, and kind of like royalty. So this is just the prince. Now Jackon. Jackon is pretty much a servant. It's based off of like a servant. 
as you can see with its, with its posture and everything let's go back let's go to its older artworks okay so first off first the first jacking you can see that it's okay but it's not really that it's it's not all that it's just it's pretty generic for the most part like i gave it the scarf thing the scarf tag thing the eye markings of uh, like egyptians and stuff the feet are meh just generic paws and claws and stuff like that not much going on and the shading is met the shading is a bit messy and everything which comes with me not being experienced at the time but yeah it's just a big oof moving up one step you got this version which it kept it kept the good chunk of the stuff but it made it better like this this purple is no longer as pinkish as it was it's more like an actual purple now I actually added the extra yellow bands and everything like that the markings on the red side the marking the fur on his chest now actually like comes out on it like it's actually a mark on his chest now uh, there's that there's like a a, cr a mark on his head that leads down to a hair that goes down his neck now the scarf thing remained and like the tail just became a lot simpler it's no longer like fluffy and poofy is just three just three slabs of fur and it looks like it's leaning forward like this was a this was a case where um the posing was a bit awkward and it's just weird just weird the, yeah, but for the most part it looks better than it looks better than this and you can see that now instead of just this line being nothing it's actually got the purple there like i did with the with the second version of Cal calic and now we move on to the current version which is a lot better immediately you can you can tell the differences are night and day for the most part like the every like here around the neck part there's no extra line here the 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 scarf is no longer there the um, i actually made the neck mark the fur a little li a little lighter the is by its hands are behind its back because like i said before it's based off of a servant so you know butlers and everything they just they serve and everything so jackon serve calic and it's finally evolved for him so I gave it this kind of posture where it's like, whatever, I'm just doing whatever you want me to do. And the purple still remained here, which is okay because it, it's an evolved form. The hair at the back of his head is no longer just, oh, just random. It's now just actually organized, only has two slabs now. And the eye markings is no longer go out over the eye, but actually under the eye. The the mark around its lower half is no longer like right up against the leg it's actually like up up a little bit more and everything just feels better now the shading and everything is better too and you can still see the tape see some of the texture that i used yeah this is this this was a lot better and now next up we have diabolica the crew of pokemon AKA Ultimate Anubis. So let's let's go on down. Let's get down to it and break down the comparisons. Do these comparisons because oh my word. This this one had this one this one went through some this one went through some changes. So So let's let's uh go ahead and break this down. Boop. All right, first step. I don't know what the hell this was because there are so many problems here that I can't even like. I was I I, I can already tell that I was going for a more of a Zoroark anger because of the fur around its neck and the way the paws and claws are. And it's like, what the hell? Like 
the the body color's too dark, the shade, the highlight stands out too much. The remnants of my old shading habits when I just make the shading and then use like um, the expand and dilate tool to erase edges and but I didn't do anything about the, like the sharp pointed parts just the crest the crest on its head just wavy like like water for some reason big puffy tail that's like kind of coming out of the side the feet aren't even actual like feet they just covered in fur but I made this extra line to dif differentiate it like it meant something the eyes are just weird the mouth is uh uh, just this whole this whole thing is just ugh. Moving up one step though, <sighs> didn't get it. Didn't really get much better. Didn't get better at all. Now, now the purple like <sighs> is just like the pose is good. The pose is good, but other than that, it's just what the hell. Now, now it's. Now, instead of like a Zoroark angle, I went with a more Lucario angle, I guess. The neck fur is still there. The crest is a bit more, is is more unique, I'll say that. But other than that, it's just, ugh. I went with like the light part kind of face thing where the nose connect kind of, is kind of sort of connected to the face mask around its eyes. But it's not, but it's not really. It's just the same color. We got, the, the claws are just small and not really that good. The tail got smaller, but it's still not really organized or anything. Like, the feet and everything, I just, <sighs> it's just so hard to look at this. It's just, uh, I can't really say a lot because it's kind of hard to just, Moving on, let's just go up a step. Yeah, there we go. Much better, much, much better. As you can see, compared to this mess, this is a lot more detailed. It has a lot more character to it, more flair to it. However, like, every, like he has the, the links now, the cuffs around his legs and arms and everything. Has the thing around his neck, his waist. Has the thing on his head, his eyes. Everything just feels good here. Everything feels a lot better compared to this load and definitely this. And then, and these two are essentially the same. These two is, are essentially the same for the most part. The only, the main difference is, um, like, like, like with the, like with the version of Jackon and Calic that I did before. This is where I use like an over, an overlay or multi an overlay or shade actually um method where i use that setting on my brushes and everything instead of just my regular one so the shading looks a bit different compared to where what my other art usually looks like like you can see that this looks a bit more normal for the most part but here it doesn't because you can tell by the way the yellow is shaded like like the yellow is a bit just a darker yellow while here it has like the grayish shading part of it so yeah but yeah the, these designs are remotely the same they're just in a different pose because this pose just felt too basic and it's supposed to be like commanding domineering a ruler so i just had so i just changed the pose up so it had its arm raised so that it's looking like halt but yeah, I really like, like these designs are fine. I really like how they came out. Oh wait, I just realized I added uh, I added an extra part to the thing to his eye and put the put its fangs on the outside of his mouth. Well, hold on, what are the other things that I do or add? Let's see. Uh, well, other than the ear, the slight ear change. Not, not much else is that much different, but yeah. I really like how this this current version looks and I probably won't be redoing it again. I really like how it came out. All right, next up we have Surlu. Now Surlu is a bit of a it's a case where mm, 
it's pretty much ba it's it's basic. It's based on it's pretty much just based on a albino. Well, I can't. Is it is it an albino? Well, white stag, like the white. Hold on. Better if I actually have visual representation to go along with it. There we go. And let's see, white stag. Let's see, is there was there anything else that went along with it? No, it did not. All right, but yeah, it's pretty much just a white stag. That's all it is. Like, not much to it. It just has loosism. It just has loosism. And it has a lot of mythology and everything that goes behind with it. Yeah, it's just... If people want to read all that, they can. But basically, it's just... It's pretty much a basic white stag. Like, this whole line is just... Ba this is pretty much one, one of my basic lines. It's just uh, a deer that's white. I need to, I really need to revamp them and make them feel a bit better. They're both normal type and I need to like, I'm gonna be implementing a bit more of the myth and legends into it when I, whenever I get back to revamping it. And look, it's one of the few uh, things of mine, fake amount of mine that I evolved with a stone. So that's, that's something that makes it unique, I guess. But yeah, other than that, I think, but yeah, with this, I think this, this is going to be the end of this episode. Um, we're con we'll continue on with Hoppo next time. Uh, thanks, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all, I hope y'all are bearing with me and still like actually tuning in <laughs> because I know I be t I take breaks from here and there just to kind of get my head straight because I got things going on behind the scenes. And one of these days, I'll probably end up just continuing on and doing more things maybe with even other people um uh, but for right now this is where i'm gonna this is where i'm at so thank you all for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you all in the in the next video peace